Hello everyone. So in part one, I went over how to remove the drive shaft housing. Now, if anyone has any tips on how to get this thing out, it would definitely be helpful, uh, especially on an old rusted motor. Now, um, in part two, what I wanted to do is really just go into depth on the lower unit, how the drive shaft goes in, how everything comes together. As you can see, I have the lower unit soldered in half. So let's just take a look at every nook and cranny of the lower unit and just, just see what's going on. Let's start from the original part. I'm gonna, this is the, so this is the forward gear. I'm gonna put it back in, just so we can kind of see what would happen when you remove the bearings or the, the gear case. Actually, just a keynote, there is a bearing and inside there is another washer that's still stuck in there. So the bearing goes between the washer and the gear. Forward gear back in. So now, what you would see, you would normally see this nut here as the drive shaft would be inserted. I'm gonna put it in one second, but this is just an idea. So let's pretend you're removing the prop shaft, took out the gear case and you, you remove the prop shaft, you look into the hole of your lower unit, down inside here, and you see this pinion gear. You can't remove the forward gear because the pinion gear is blocking it. So if you turn the drive shaft, the, we'll turn the light a little bit here. The forward gear will rotate. Now, at this point, there's only two things holding the drive shaft in place. The pinion gear nut and the housing. So obviously, uh, just as in the previous video, you want to remove this nut. I gave a tip on how to do that. And at this point, you're basically done with this lower part. So I'm gonna flip it around. <coughs> See, this is where the housing enters. Real tight fit. And also inside there. Now, if you're wondering which way this bearing goes, you can see it has kind of a curvy side and then it has a flat side. So the flat side goes up towards the motor. And what keeps this in place is actually one bolt. Let's take a look here. You may have wondered what this bolt right here does. What this bolt does, it lays slightly on the flat edge of this bearing and it keeps it from going up. So once you kind of put it in place, it stays there and it will not go back up. I showed there was a slight groove here. So between here and here, there is a small space and the bolt goes right in there, keeping this bearing perfectly in place. Now let's take a look. Not sure if you can see. But just in there, all, all this bolt does is really just very, very slightly intersect the passage in there like this, causing a little groove so the bearing can't slide back up to the top. And that's it. Now, this isn't something you should really be worried about removing accidentally, or you know, if you're working on the motor and you remove this, this isn't like a major issue. For example, people people say if you remove the shift screw, so the screw that goes here that connects to the shift linkage, this could screw up the shifting and be very difficult to get back in without taking some things apart. But uh, this bolt here, you shouldn't have any worry. It pretty much just holds the engine in place. Obviously, if you remove it while the motor is running, that, that might not be good. But um, that's how it goes in. So what I'm going to do is put the drive shaft back in. I'm going to take a look at how it goes. I'm not going to put this bearing in because it does require hammering it out. I'm just going to stick the drive shaft in by itself. Now, try and get around here. Now, just so you can see, there are a couple of washers and bearings that go onto the drive shaft. I'm going to put them on now, but I'm going to show you how they work. So these bearings, they slide onto the shaft. So you got one large washer, you get a bearing, another washer, and then you get these two little thin metal washers. And those are what go onto the drive shaft, in that order. There 
go. So here we are. This is basically what you will see, obviously with this uh, pinion nut on, when you take out the gear case. This is the point where you're kind of stuck and unless you remove the drive shaft itself, you really can't do any more reparations. It's a fairly simple device. Once it kind of fits in, it's really just the drive shaft housing that holds this thing in. Let's put this on. You can see there's another bearing inside of there. It goes on and it goes flush with this top piece right here. So this keeps the shaft pressed down, pushed down, and uh, going through this gear here, the flat side going up. And as your motor spins, this is kind of uh, what turns the propeller. And uh, now that you got this out, the forward gear will come right out. There's nothing holding it in. Good to go. You can see there's other bearings in there, which you also need a bearing puller to get out. But at this point, you've essentially taken apart every piece of the motor. Now let's just uh, take a slightly more careful look at the lowering unit itself and just some of the other passages inside. 